Hey, what's up everybody? Sonuts here, and in this video I'm going to be showing off some similarities between Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 using some screenshots I have taken from the leaked Gamescom footage. Now, first thing we're going to be talking about are the computer terminals. Now, as you can see, this is the Fallout 3 version, Fallout 4 version. Now, they're basically almost identical. The only thing I see different is right here. As you can see, there is no decal here, and it just has like a little indention but on the Fallout 4 version it has a decal here and the indention that is in the Fallout 3 one is not there so that's really the only difference everything else the uh, size of the screen the decal here the knobs the keyboard the other buttons the shape everything is pretty much exactly the same I'm pretty sure the Fallout 4 version is gonna have way better textures it's gonna look much better than the Fallout 3 version but other than that same exact thing I'm cool with that I'm sure some people are hating on that some people are probably wondering why they haven't upgraded it but honestly if you think about it since Fallout 4 is set in the same timeline as Fallout 3 the technology is going to be the same so it makes sense to have the same terminals okay so the next similarities we're gonna be talking about is the hacking in Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 now as you can see the similarities are there and there's not much of a difference. The only thing I really see different is the wording in the terminals. Now as you can see here it says Robco Industries TM Termalink Protocol enter password now and in the Fallout 4 version it says welcome to Robco Industries TM Termalink password required and in the Fallout 3 version it actually tells you how many attempts you have left three attempts left with the little boxes but in the Fallout 4 version it just says attempts remaining with the little boxes indicating how many attempts you have left and that's pretty cool everything else looks exactly the same you got all the numbers and you got all the symbols you got all the words I'm sure you're gonna be able to remove the duds select the proper word unlock the turrets the protectrons the safes you know whatever you're hacking on so I think that's really cool you know Bethesda is living by the motto if it ain't broke don't fix it so you know there was no reason to really overhaul the hacking when it was already awesome the way it is it would have sucked if they would have changed it around and made it more difficult than it already was like there were some fucking terminals that I couldn't hack and I ended up locking the computers and I got a little frustrated but you know that's what I like you know it's all about trial and error and I don't know why anybody would be mad that the hacking is exactly the same as Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 because there was no point in changing it alright so the next similarity we're gonna be talking about is the lock picking as you can see basically identical you got your circular lock you got your bobby pin you got your flathead you stick it in twist it pop the lock get to the loot and boom you're good to go and I love that I am so glad that Bethesda kept the lock picking and the hacking from Fallout 3 and didn't change anything because there was really no need to you know Bethesda knows their games if there was any way they could have upgraded the hacking and the lock picking and made it better than it was in the previous game they would have but they felt like their systems in place were already perfect and there was really no need for upgrading them and I'm happy with that decision you know sure there's a lot of people out there that are pissed off they're like well Fallout 4 a next gen title and Fallout 3 is a last gen title so things should be different of course there's plenty of differences in Fallout 4 compared to Fallout 3 you know they totally revamped the graphics totally revamped the shooting the VATS mechanics the companion systems the just everything about Fallout 4 is totally different from Fallout 3 other than a few familiar gameplay mechanics like the lock picking and hacking and you know I'm 100% happy with that now the only difference in lock picking and hacking from Fallout 3 to Fallout 4 is going to be the fact that there's no longer any skills. So there will be no lock pick skill to worry about and no science skill to worry about. So that means every lock we come across, we're going to be able to unlock it right then and there without having to wait and upgrade our character. If we come across a terminal, we're going to be able to hack it without having to worry about upgrading our science skill. And I love that. That was one of my biggest pet peeves with Fallout 3 man it just made that game so infuriating sometimes because I would go into a building I would find a safe 
and I would get a little happy, like, ooh, I'm about to give me some bottle caps and some ammo and stuff. Then I'd go and try to unlock it, and it'd say, lockpick skill 75 and up required. And I'd be like, shit. Because you know, when you come across something like that, you're going to forget where that safe was. And I did. Like, I came across so many safes and doors that I couldn't unlock because my lockpick skill wasn't high enough. And I never went back to those safes or doors because, you know, I was so far along in the game. And I just didn't really care about it anymore. So I'm glad that we're not going to have to worry about that in Fallout 4. We can just attempt to unlock and hack any door and terminal that we come across. And thank you for that, Bethesda. Thank you. So, what do you guys think? What are your opinions on the similarities between the lock picking, the hacking, the terminals, and all that goodness? Let me know in the description below. I mean, the comment section below, not in the description below. You can't write in my description. That's just weird. But uh, let me know, and we'll talk about it. Have a good night, my vault dwellers.